Hey, and yet we have another miracle on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 because today we have just the great news. The Minecraft, the real Minecraft Java edition, not even Bedrock, was actually ported on the Oculus Quest 2 natively without using PC VR or any other thing running directly on it. So after years waiting for an official port for Microsoft, the team at Questcraft actually managed to do it porting Minecraft directly on the Atlas Quest and Atlas Quest 2. So in this video, we're gonna see how to install it with a step-by-step -step guide. It's not super hard, don't worry. It's not the easiest, but well, we're gonna do it together. We're also gonna see some gameplay and the best way to run it in the best way possible. Because of course, this is a first beta. There are so many bugs. From time it's gonna crash, it's not running super well. So we're gonna try to maximize the performance as much as possible. A little disclaimer, by the way, this is not an official port from Microsoft. Don't worry, this is not parroting. You have to own the game to actually play it. But at the same time, even if you can, I don't really recommend playing online just yet because they could actually just ban you and your account because at the end of the day, playing in VR it can be considered a bit like cheating because you're not really using the regular version of the game. And with all this said, let's get into it and let's play the biggest and the most played game in the world on the Oculus Quest 2. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So first thing first, just be aware that you have to be in developer mode to actually install Minecraft VR on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 natively. To do that, it's super easy. I made a guide over here, by the way, but you should be already in developer mode if you follow the channel from a bit. Anyway, you just have to create a developer account on the Oculus platform and then put your Oculus Quest 2 in developer mode from the settings from the app on your phone. It's super easy. Once you've done that, you can download SideQuest. It's gonna be super handy to actually install the game. So let's get to Minecraft, right? I'm gonna leave the two links in the description below where to download the file, or you can use the GitHub page that they're gonna leave also down in the description below. You go on releases over here and we download all the file that we have on screen right now. App debug and extract to root. Once we have those files, let's stay open SideQuest and then we're gonna go over here and install APK file from folder on your computer. Just be sure that your Oculus Quest 2 is actually connected with the cable uh, with it. And then we install the APK. We go on the files and we click on app debug APK. We click on open and we wait for the installation to be done. It's gonna be super fast. Now the first step is done and we have to copy the files from extract to root directly on our Oculus Quest 2. Now, what we have to do over here is to extract this application. I use 7-zip for example, but you can use directly the Windows extracting tool. Once we have it, we click on the Android part, we do copy. Then we go on this PC, we look for the Quest 2 internal storage. And when you see the Android folder there, we just click here, we click on paste, we do do this for all current files and we copy everything in there. It's gonna take a bit. And for the PC part, we're done and then we're gonna just jump in the Oculus Quest 2 and do the rest. All right, here we are in the Oculus Quest 2. So first thing to do is to open the dashboard. We go on all the apps and over here, we click on unknown sources. Here we're gonna find a Puja launcher for Minecraft Java Edition for Android. We click on it and it's gonna take a bit to open. I already opened it, so it's not really loading anymore. We're gonna log in with our email and password over here, or if you have a Microsoft login, you're gonna use this button here. Then once you logged in, I really suggest you to actually restart the Oculus Quest 2 because it's gonna solve some problems over there. And then when you get back in, instead of doing login again, you click on select account that is already registered and you click over there. You wait a bit and we are in the launcher over here. Now, two things to do. First of all, we go on settings and we're gonna go on video render and over here, renderer, we're gonna select a third option like I did over here. Exactly. I also put down the resolution to 80% that just to have it run a bit better without compromising too much the quality. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna select the last option over here, the fabric loader 0, 12, 12, 1, and 18. It's all done. 
we are ready to play Minecraft. You click on play. Over here, you have to play on play anyway. Click on play anyway. It's gonna load a bit. We're gonna have a, a black screen with some uh, dots on it. By the way, the first time that you play is gonna download the game in this moment, so it might take a bit longer than usual. Now, you get in the three dots loading screen and we're gonna wait for one, two minutes or some time, also three. It's pretty long. Just remember to look straight so the menu is gonna load in front of you. Now, we're not gonna have an actual pointer, but we have a hands already, sort of, because we're in Minecraft. We're gonna go in options, video settings, and over here, we're gonna change the render distance to six or five as you want. I really suggest a bit less if it's possible, so it's gonna run a bit better. The rest is all okay, so don't worry about it. We click on done, we click on done again, single player, and uh, we start with our world. Here it's gonna freeze, don't worry, it's still happening, it's just gonna take uh, two more seconds. Before getting in the game though, I'm gonna give you two little tricks to actually run Minecraft much better and smoother on the Oculus Quest 2, so you're not gonna get sick. So what we have to do is to go on side quest again, click over here in device settings and tools, and then we go down, 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 down. We set the FFR, so the fixed popularity centering to eye top. And over here, you're gonna see that it's fixed. So that means that we're gonna kind of uh, render a dire resolution, just the very center part. Of course, your mileage may vary, but they put the eye top to have the max performance possible. At the same time, here we put the level four in GPU and CPU level. I don't know if it's gonna help, but it's the 2D app at the end of the day, at the beginning at least, and the texture file size, well, I'm gonna put it to 1024 or to 768, or even lower if you're on the Oculus Quest 1. This is gonna change a bit the resolution in game, but at the same time, it's gonna be much smoother and enjoyable. Right now, that's what we need. When the game is gonna get better, and uh, of course, the support is gonna get better, so they're gonna fix some bugs and they're gonna boost performances, well, probably this is not gonna be needed. But right now, it's better to lower down the graphics a bit to have a smooth experience and be able to enjoy it much more. All right, and here, all right there. All right, and here we are in Minecraft. I'm not gonna go for too long in the gameplay because, of course, I don't want this video to be 20 minutes. But this is to be appreciated. We are in Minecraft in a 6 DOF and with our friends. Well, sort of, with uh, our little blocks. Here we have the menu. I'm gonna leave, by the way, on the screen right now, all the controls for the game. So you're gonna be able to play it without any problem. You can take a screenshot and then study it a bit. But yeah, this is full blown Minecraft. We can go around, of course, destroy blocks. To interact, there's no option to actually punch things, but I think that is actually a good thing because it would take four freaking ever to actually do tasks and mine and things. Uh, I'm in survival mode right now. I just prefer survival mode. I've never been a big fan of creative, but if you are a fan, there's also the creative mode that you can play, of course. But let's open the menu and uh, let's start to craft some stuff because, uh, yeah, that's a regular menu that we have on Minecraft. Crafting table, and I was supposed to take it in my hands, and then we select it with the thumbstick, we put it down, trigger to actually use it, and then we uh, make some sticks over here, and then let's make a wooden pickaxe to start. And because we want to be careful, it's better to make also a sword. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> it's a bit small. I was expecting it to be bigger, but hey, not bad. Let me see. My little sword is more like a dagger. And uh, let's go around. Performance are pretty okay, to be honest. Uh, I was expecting much, much worse. And... Uh, there's some nice stuff going on. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's Minecraft. 
but because it's Minecraft, we get a mine. So uh, let's uh, destroy some stuff so we can make a stone pickaxe. You're always gonna have these uh, little things over there. Sometimes you have like to use the mouse and stuff, but hey, where did I put the crafting table? Yeah, the, you see there's some bugs, like you can see through the word. Is that a bit weird? But hey, nothing crazy. Let's go, let's run through the trees. Let's run. Look at that. Wow! Ah! All right, I fell. Let me see if I can find somebody or something to kill. There's some fish there. Alright, let me see. Come on. Come on. I hear something. I hear something. Oh, here we go. A pig. Oh, little one. You die first. Oh, take forever to die. Little, oh, oh, where's my stuff? Sorry, I I killed him, but he didn't give me anything. Can you die now? Give me some pork chop. Pork chop. Oh yeah, we have a pork chop. Where is it? Look at this pork chop. Amazing. And I'm. Oh, that's a bee. Have you ever seen a bee? It has to be from the latest update. Oh, that was fast. I oh, know that's another one. Look at that! Look at that! You're so cute! Where's Oni? There's no Oni. Whoa! Hey, hey! No, no, no! It was... No, no, no! It was an error. I didn't want to kill your friend. I didn't want to kill your friend, really. Really. Ah. It's his fault. Didn't want to do that. Let's go away. Alright. <laughs> you can move around. We can look around. We can jump in the water. Woo! Go down in the water. What the heck is that? I don't know you. I don't want to see you. Go away. Away! I'm trying to make a video here. I don't want to die. Go away! Yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. Some cows. Oh, there are so many animals over here. So many. That's nice. But yeah, guys, like, if you want to build something, you just, like, build your own things and stuff. You build your walls. We put, like, a little house here. We don't have much stuff to actually build your house, but... That's my house, I guess. And I'm gonna sleep here tonight. So... That's Minecraft, guys. And here I have it, guys. This was some gameplay of Minecraft running on the Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2. I really recommend you to try it if you already own Minecraft because, yeah, Minecraft is very particular. For many people, it's not really appealing, but in VR, is completely another game. It gets super immersive, even if the word is a bit blocky and stuff. But yeah, for sure, an experience to try. It's amazing that we have already this running pretty well at the end of the day. Yes, you're going to see some crashes. Yes, the loading screens are very long and weird. Yes, we don't really have a pointer, but it's completely playable. You don't have the biggest drawing distance, but it's better than nothing, I guess. The particular thing is that the Gear VR version was running very well already, but didn't have 60 OF, at least for the controllers. So you had to use like an Xbox controller to do that. And it was a bit complicated also to sideload at the same time. And that was a bit pirating at the end of the day. So uh, it's very nice that he found a way to don't break any EULA and something like it and be able to actually play Minecraft here. I'm sure that we're going to see this project getting bigger and better. And at the same time, I hope that Microsoft doesn't notice this too much and doesn't like uh, start to stop it in some way. Minecraft and VR are great together. We didn't get an update for the Microsoft version of it in VR for Windows Mixed Reality. And we didn't get any update for also the Oculus version as well. So this is kind of the only way to play in VR 
with Vivecraft that works on PC VR. That, by the way, I surely recommend if you have a PC to play in that way instead of using this way native on Quest. But if you don't have a PC, it's just great that we have the version standalone completely. Would I buy Minecraft just for this version? Well, I actually did because I had just the Bedrock version, so I had to buy the Java. Do I regret it? No, but I actually also wanted to make a video about it. Minecraft in VR is cool though, so... Maybe, yeah, I recommend it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. I'm super excited that this thing is actually happening. It's not running badly, to be honest. I was expecting much worse, but maybe with the little tweaks that I did, that's why I was getting a better performance, even recording at the same time. So if you don't record, even better. But yeah, I think we're done. It's now your time to actually download it and play it. So have fun. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. And little down further, also the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons and who join the channel for the support, of course. It really helps to pay for the bills for like Adobe and stuff to actually make these videos. And uh, yeah, I see you guys in the next video. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ciao.